Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is October 4th, and Barrow has returned to the Lavrunda Relay on Mercury. We have just had the Kume and the Five Fates update drop. Honestly, I think the highlight of this update is more so the frame reworks than Kume herself, but... I'll see what you guys think. What do you guys think of Kume, this update? I'm laying in right now, I'm, uh, I'm probably going to be dropping some more videos later today. Right now we're finishing up some Hildren stuff, because uh, let me tell you right now, her new augment is completely busted. We'll be looking at the Nova rework and Caliban stuff, as well as Kume. And the Bond mods, new stuff, and Pet Companion Part 2, but do stay tuned for that. Anyways, let's see what Barrow has in store. Lotus Cedar's login music, wait. Is this the first time they've given us music? As an item, that's a little bit interesting. I don't really know what this sounds like, but I guess you have this available. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, so I thought it was changes your login music, but no, it uses the login music as a Somer Gore track. So that's available there. We have Prime Pistol Gambits for Crit Chance Pistols. This is pretty much mandatory, unless you're using Creeping Bullseye. I would still recommend picking it up because there are weapons that do not want the minus 20% fire rate penalty. So I would say grab it. This is a little bit more niche. If you have stuff spare, then yeah, you can pick this up. I don't think there's pistols right now that absolutely require this, but it is a nice to have if there are certain builds you make in the future that would want it. Prime Sniper Ammo Mutation. If you play Perry Gale, you will really, really want this. Especially for like harder content runs unless you like well I guess now because with the armor strip changes It's a lot easier to get kills with it due to well, not armor strip the, just the armor changes as they're not as tanky as before Which means it takes less shots to kill and you're not as dependent on always bringing 100% strip But this does let you kind of spam your snipers a bit more willy-nilly or say like if you like playing Comrex and Firing the AoE viral and stuff and whatnot this can come in handy I don't think you absolutely have to pick this up, but if you enjoy playing those two specific sniper rifles, Perigil or Comrex, there is still kind of a use case for this mod. Rakdasine Donna. It kind of looks like beetle wings, if I'm going to be honest. I was never too much of a fan of these ones. We have our Prisma Tetra, which exists. Tetras in... I mean, we have the Sisters of Parvo's Tetra version, which is almost a completely different weapon and completely eclipses this. So, this is basically just collector's edition at this point. It falls far, far, far behind the Sisters of Parvo's version of this weapon. So, just keep that in mind. Katir Tribute Glyph is back once again if you'd like this for your profile. And we have our entire Katir Foros Plates Armor Collection which I think actually is one of the better Katir armor sets that we have available. A bit more nuance and still a very, um, I'd say, like, sharp angular aesthetic without just looking out of place like certain corpus pieces. Pack Leader Sigil. It's on your chest. It literally just looks like a Kubro. It's hidden by my own chest piece. Mirage Immortal Skin, if you like this one. I mean... I guess this is one of the better ones, but again, I was not a fan of most of the Immortal skins since typically they the texturing does not obey the sculpting mapping of the frame itself where like you see those color splits just are kind of splashed on rather than matching where curvatures or certain materials would end and other ones start. The Rack Luxa ornament that you can put as a decoration in your orbiter or I guess in your dojo too. Tebron Lixis skin, another one from the Elixis series. Always an absolute masterpiece for fashion frame. Looks very ceremonial-esque, high resolution textures, and it's, it is just the prop, it is just the skin, but I've always been a fan of these. Void Trader color palette returns once again. This is not new, but if you haven't picked it up before, he doesn't bring it very often. He has a couple different variants of color palettes that are available, so this is there for you to grab if you haven't grabbed it yet. Lunar Tiger Sigil once again goes on... Wait, aren't these on... Is this not on shoulders? I thought it would be on shoulders. I guess it's on chest, but it's again very hard for me to see. This is what I'm using. Nice golden little floaty archwing skin. Gives them a little bit more of a prime aesthetic that you can put on any archwing. But yeah, that's pretty much all it is. Ration Tourist Child Tablet is another decoration for your Orbiter or Dojo, again. Scoria Diadem, if you want a third eyeball on your head, that's there too. And we have the Godva Prime returning from last year's 
Tenocon. It's a pretty decent weapon. Um, I'll put down a link in the description of my own guide on it. I do want to let you know if you're playing on enhanced damage numbers system, your HUD will lie to you. This weapon does not crit anywhere as often as it looks like on the enhanced HUD. And it kind of has to do with how the enhanced HUD works. It's a decent weapon, but it is still just a rifle. It is one of our better rifles that we have, but don't expect this thing to really wow you and other things and whatnot to blow you away. But if you're just looking for a cookie cutter rifle that performs well, yeah, this one is a solid option. Packs a decent punch, feels pretty good to use, but it is just a rifle. Javi Luminosity Scrawling for your personal quarters is available once again, and it looks like this. We have our Day of the Dead Kavat armor, if you want to make your Kavat look like a witch, I guess. Dark Sword Day of the Dead, we're just going through these, another skin with that same theme got skull pattern on them there we go we can finally see it and then one for dread too as well with a very similar aesthetic more floral patterns and some skulls alongside with the arrow and then we have our in my belly glyph returning once again with grendel there sands of Naros blueprint for his quest line normal narrow so if you haven't picked it up yet and fate path ephemera as barrow always brings and of course if you show up with the Naros prime we'll have the lost signal escort quest for some reason it started happening more recently that we have mods all the way at the very bottom past the stuff. Usually these two are at the end. But yeah, it's just cosmetic pattern coloring for your Kavad. Anyways, that's what Barrow has brought this week on October 4th. Same as console and PC. As always, do stay tuned for more updates. Um, I am finishing up and working some videos right now. So we should be getting back to our regular updates on our uploads very very soon like and subscribe always goes a long way to helping out the channel appreciate you always for being here and that'll be for this one i'll see you all next time